Good. Uh, seasonal. Yep. They have seasonal. three seasons only, right? Can I get this under your foot? Yep. Or, oh, sorry, sure I didn't look up. <laughs> sorry, I'm playing you. I just saw Bigfoot. Yeah, I do have big feet. Well, at this, at this oh, level, oh, everything's yeah, really big. Yeah. Okay, so a vernal pool is a puddle of water that dries up in the summer. And there are vernal pools all around the world. Uh, I get arguments with people that say, well, we've got vernal pools in Maine and Massachusetts or Finland or yeah. places. <laughs> and they do, but the ones in California are different because from the, although we're looking at critters, it's from the botanical diversity. Um, we have some unique conditions here that you don't see anywhere else in the world. And the second best place for vernal pools with plant, with spe special plants is Chile, um, oh, which has Mediterranean climate. Okay. The, uh, yeah, Roxanne, you've heard all this. That's okay. Uh, probably several times. I do, uh, I do, the I do, more often do I hear it, the more at the, chances I, it the sticks. Naturalist class. <laughs> Yeah, he gave a great talk. Chile has 10 to 15 unique plants that are special to vernal pools. Uh, in California, we have well over 200. Oh, wow. So um, you go to Massachusetts or Maine or something like this, they have beautiful vernal pools, but it's all Christi um, amphibians, mm. salamanders, frogs, things oh. like this. Here, we have the Mediterranean climate, so it dries up in the summer and you have cool, wet winters. And we have um, an impermeable soil layer underneath this. So if, if, you, if you touch that clay and rub it, it's really, the, the soil is over there. We have this very, very fine clay and it bonds and it doesn't let the water uh, seep down through it. And the vernal pool is gonna be just precipitation. It's no, there's no spring. If it has a spring or a river or a stream, it's a different kind of wetland. Mm. So all this water out here is just rainwater that can't soak in. That can't soak in. And actually, it, a lot of it came from these uplands up here where it's low, the, there's a slight slope here, so it drains from these uplands down here. All these areas with bright colored flowers and virtually, essentially no grass, significant grass, those are all vernal pools also. Mm -hmm. Just that they're shallower and they've, they've drained. So we have two, those would be clear water ones, and this is the murky oh, water one. Murky. So on this side of California, so you got plants that that um, can handle in the fall, which is the start of the growing season here. It's hi, and I, you look familiar, but Carlin. 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 I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm really. It's been years since I've yeah, seen. Yeah, it has been. I know, right? I well, everyone's here. So, yeah. um, here. the, um, in the fall, these flood up, the grasses can't stand being inundated and right. that's the start of the growing season. So they get suppressed. Then the vernal pool plants actually can start growing un even underwater. Uh, some of them get, have leaves that float on the surface of the water and, and get their air from that. Some of them have hollow t stems mm -hmm. to stick up and get air down to the roots. Some of them can just absorb air, the gases from the water directly. So then when these dry down, the grasses, okay, it's starting to get going, but the vernal pool plants are already, have already started. Then they grow, um, they're mostly annuals because why be a perennial? Because it's gonna be totally dry in the summer. Mm. They're very short and they have a high ratio of flowering surface to plant surface to leaf surface mm -hmm. so which is why you get the, the big mat and they tend to they tend to be synchronized as far as when they bloom uh, this year is a little weird because I'm seeing early and mid flowers out here it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's just this is a really weird year uh, plus a lot of this lighter yellow stuff is actually a grassland plant um, which normally wouldn't be growing in the vernal bulls but right. it's been so dry wow. um, the um, so then it dries up and they're, they're, you know, the, a lot of the grasses and things can't survive being desiccated. So you have to have a plant that, that can stand being inundated and desiccated. The soil here is very alkaline, so that's another. Oh. The soil on this side of, of the valley, uh, basin rim formation. The um, plants grow short because why grow a long time? Because it's going to dry up. 
Um, they don't have big seed dispersal mechanisms because they're in the right habitat. Why disperse your seeds out of that habitat? Mm -hmm. yeah. They're so carried by ducks, though. <laughs> they get moved, cool yeah, but, but they so don't they have they don't have stickers, stickers or, or wings or, wings or right. exploding seed pods. Or, specific <laughs> yeah. Needs. yeah, now some of them will be in here because not all the plants out here are strictly vernal pool plants. Mm -hmm. You have grassland plants, you have wetland plants that can handle some of this stuff. Um, this side of the valley, the west side, they're clay soils, the clay pan. Um, we have, we think we have probably 10% remaining of what was hidden here in, store, in, in the Central Valley. Oh, wow. Because if you come in there and put a, a orchard or a, or a, a building, you're doing, you're digging a hole, you break that, that impenetrable layer in mm -hmm. the water. Because it's post up. So you can't really mitigate a vernal pool. Well, they're trying. Um, I, I know some places, there's there's a place, most of the successful ones are are, are, are reclaimed pools. Um, about $70,000 per acre for a reclaimed project down in the uh, Merced area. Wow. Where it was an orchard, well, well there was a, you get these rolling hills and they tuck the tops off the high parts and dumped them in the low parts to level it for the orchard. Oh. That was in the 40s, they didn't do, have deep, they couldn't do deep ripping, so they didn't break the layer. Mm. So they're doing soil horizons, taking the, the top soil out, putting it back on top and excavating it, and they're going to see how that goes. Oh wow, that's um, interesting. Grasslands Regional Park, south of Davis. Right. Um, was dry land farming and there's vernal pools there uh, dry land farming in the 1800s and they they you, know, you got all this mucky stuff it's not any good for for your farm so they leveled them out and then it became a military facility for air, <laughs> the air force base for the radar and then half of it got turned over the poorer half unfortunately got turned over to the county and they made a park there and they decided uh, to reclaim some of these areas and they did soil profiles and they carefully took the the topsoil out and, and the problem is that you go out there and look at it and i didn't realize it was reclaimed the first time i saw it they're perfectly oval and there's five of them in a straight line <laughs> oh. so. and then they replanted the trees no that was off this that wasn't in the vernal that not wasn't in the vernal but not next the, to it yeah. in a perfect grid yeah, oh, no. they, put, yeah, they put in Valley Oaks and didn't water them, and the Valley Oaks are really cool. It's a great dog park. It's a really good, it's now, it's now a dog, dog run. Park. It's the oh, best yeah. dog run in Davis. <laughs> the other side of the valley, um, the soil, the impenetrable layer is um, hard pan, which is mm. a silica iron type of thing. Mather is a good example. Mm -hmm. um, those are acidic instead of alkaline like here. Oh, so you get a different oh. set of plants when you're there versus here. Huh. Oh, interesting. And that. that's mostly yeah. East Valley. Now those we figure there's about 20% remaining, although given what they're doing in Roseville, I think we're, yeah. we're yeah, losing that. Yeah. So Roseville used to have quite a few that were uh, on Merton Formation volcanic ash. Also. Okay, now that is you get up more to Chico, that's the third one. Yeah, they have those in uh, Roseville. Over there too, okay, Vina Plains, them, North Table Mountain, these, some of these areas, uh, vol ancient volcanic mud flows, and those are vernal pools Super also. They tend, to be, they tend to be the youngest ones. You have different, yet again, different sets of plants there. Mm -hmm. The oldest ones are the ones on that side of the valley. These are middle ones, and then the volcanic ones are the newest ones. So the evolution is a little different to get in different geologic terms. In geologic <laughs> terms, yes.